In this presentation, we're going to go over IQR and outliers. First, what is IQR? IQR, which stands for interquartile range, is the distance between the first and the third quartile, which contains the middle 50% of the sorted data. So how do we compute the value of IQR? IQR can be computed by finding the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1. So what's the application of IQR? We can use IQR to compute the upper and the lower fence of the data and then identify any outliers. What's the upper fence? It's the value of Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. What about the lower fence? Lower fence is the value of Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. What's an outlier? An outlier is any data value that does not fall within the lower fence and the upper fence. In other words, the value of any outlier has to be less than the lower fence or more than the upper fence. Let's look at this example. We want to use the calculator to find the five number summary and then we want to compute the values of IQR, upper fence, lower fence, and then identify any outliers. I first enter these values into a list in my calculator. Then I did some basic computations using the content of the list that I used to save the data, in this case L1. After I did my basic computations, the sample mean became 76.615, standard deviation became 37.711. Now if I use the down arrow several times until there is no place to go, we can find the five number summary. So the minimum was 15, the maximum was 250, Q1, the first quartile, was 60, median was 77, and Q3, the third quartile, has a value of 88. Now we're ready to compute IQR. As we said earlier, IQR is Q3 minus Q1, so by basic calculations, the value of IQR for this example is 28. Now we can find the upper fence. The formula for the upper fence is Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. I make simple substitution and the value for the upper fence becomes 130. Now we're ready to do the lower fence. The formula for the lower fence is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Again, by doing some basic substitution and calculation, the value for the lower fence is 18. Now any value that is greater than 130 or smaller than 18 is considered an outlier. So for our example, the outliers are 15, 150, and 250.
So looking at the original data, 15 is the only number that is smaller than the lower fence. And 150 and 250 are the only two numbers that are greater than the upper fence. Therefore, they are considered outliers for our sample. I hope this uh, presentation helped you understand the concept of IQR and how to identify any outliers after calculating the upper fence and the lower fence.